Many farmers think that when you have to do a trial on farm, it has to be really complicated and complex for it to be uh, meaningful or valid, but that's not always the case. Today in this video, we'll be going over uh, how to set up a, um, an experiment on your farm or a field trial. Um, this is a bit more of an uh, introductory uh, video. So firstly, we need something to test. Um, we were actually running a trial on our farm uh, for a, a product called Biocast, which is a, a vermiculture concentrate. Unfortunately, the trial got flooded, so um, I was going to make a video about it, but can't, can't anymore. But um, I guess we can use that as an example. So I wanted to test a product. Um, I applied it to half of our seeds uh, and half um, of the seeds we left as control. So what? This is doing, we're testing um, one uh, variable, or in this case, it's a product. Um, and, we, and we only want to be testing that one variable. So when, I, when we talk about variables, we have dependent, independent, and control um, variables. The independent variable is uh, something that is affected by something else, which in this case is the independent variable. So the dependent is affected by the independent. Um, in this case, the independent, uh, we were looking at um, pretty much the biomass production of oats. So we wanted to know how the growth of oats was affected by the application of this um, product. And so that's the independent variable. And so all of science is just looking at how does this, the independent variable, affect this, the, de uh, the dependent variable. And then we have controls in there because we don't want other things influencing our results. So if we um, just have uh, non-treated and then treated seeds, and then we apply a bunch of different rates of nitrogen fertilizer, how do we actually know what the uh, effect of our biocast is? Or the thing that we actually want to measure? Uh, or if we have shading over the, half the paddock, but it's not quite, um, half it's and there's you know, gradients between that how do we know what's actually affecting what so we want to control as many factors as we can and in ag it's um that can be quite challenging because we're out in the environment however um controlling the variables just mean we're keeping it constant across both um trials or, or uh, groups so what we do to one we must do to the other apart from applying our independent variable. So another example uh, is say we want to test two varieties of wheat. We have, so the dependent, uh, independent variable is the variety of wheat. That's the thing we're changing. And we want to see how that, the thing we're changing, affects say yield or grain yield. Um, and we can test that in uh, you know, tonnage. Generally the independent is what we're measuring. This, uh, the independent is what we're uh, changing to get these results and controls everything else. So our aim is almost the goal of our experiment. So usually we frame it in how does this affect this? Um, and it's, it's, it doesn't have to be uh, complex. Uh, in many cases, if, if you're just a farmer wanting to um, trial a new product, you just you know, think about it in your head. You don't have to write down a report or anything. I mean, if you're a high school student and you've been asked to do a report, then that's um, what you have to do. But aim, how does this, or how does our independent variable affect our dependent variable? That's, that's all you have to say. So how does the application of uh, fertilizer affect the growth of oak plants? Now you wanna make sure you include both of these. Uh, in that description um, and I guess if you're, if you're doing it for an assessment that's how you get full marks. Hypothesis, this is what you think will happen. Uh, gen I mean if, if you're out in the field and or you're on your own farm it doesn't really matter too much but it's still good to, to think about. That's all, all you're saying is what effect do you think is going to happen? Do I think the uh, biomass production is going to increase? Um, do I think it's going to decrease? Do I think it's going to stay the same? All you got to do is, is state something. And again, you want to make sure you include both the dependent, uh, uh, dependent and independent variables in that description. I think the application of fertilizer will increase biomass production of oats. Uh, it's almost just a reframing of the aim, but with your thoughts of what's going to happen. Next is method. Method is pretty, uh, probably the most important part of any um, 
experiment because you need to design it so you're getting uh, valid, reliable, precise results. Um, we'll have a whole video going into what makes uh, a really good method for science. Next, we're going to uh, record our results. Now, it doesn't. There's no point in doing an experiment if you're not going to measure uh, the effect or record anything. No point if you're, if you're not getting any results because it's our results that we analyze in our discussion to see if we can pull apart some kind of effect. And that's really what we're, we're after, the effect. And then finally, we're gonna include it all in a conclusion, uh, which is just recapping the overall thing. I'm pretty sure you have to tie it back to uh, the aim. Um, but generally, that's, that's the thought process that you need to consider when um, making up an experiment. It doesn't have to be complex. You can just have you know, one paddock, you spray one side with one fertilizer and you spray the other with you know, nothing or something else. So there we go. That is the overview of uh, setting up a scientific experiment. I know it was quite brief, um, but that gets you thinking about the things we need to consider and gives you the idea of the structure that you run through when uh, designing a uh, experiment. In our next video, we're going to deep dive into uh, the method because the method is really important for making sure you get everything else right. And it's actually how you set up uh, and run the experiment. So we're gonna have a full video on that um, and the uh, characteristics and aspects you need of a well-designed experiment. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Teal Simmons. Make sure to uh, drop any questions below in the comments and I'll um, answer them. All right, thank you very much.